If you want to try HF Mobile, or perhaps you do a lot of travelling and want to try HF from somewhere remote or your car or something like that, you might want to try this antenna here. It's fantastic. Have a look at my setup. There's a battery box underneath and the radio on top. The antenna is compatible with a heap of radios, so stick around and I'll show you what I found as I looked at this antenna. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. This will be pretty cool. New antenna. So let's see what's in the box. Nicely wrapped, and there's a bit on the end there, plus the instruction manual here. So this is the CBL561 antenna, which will go quite well with the uh, QT80, 40 or 60 radios. And uh, yeah, very simple, which is great. And uh, instructions there, so let's have a look at putting it together and seeing how this goes. I'm looking forward to this. So this is what's in the box. Uh, the coil bit here, and that's quite strong. No noise when you wobble it, and uh, yeah, no flex at all in that, which is great. Uh, then we got this top bit here, and uh, slight flex in that, of course, but uh, certainly no wobble factor. And then this screws in the top. Plus we've got a, a, a gasket here, which goes underneath when you screw it in uh, PL259 plug on the bottom there obviously that screws into the base you don't plug that straight into the end into the radio that would not only look a bit strange and make your shack a bit strange but uh, also needs to um, be earthed or something on the car like that and there's a uh, couple of allen keys there so let's give it a try and put it together eh? okay so quite simply uh, we've got the top here and the very top here just goes in here and screws in like so and then we've got two allen keys which i thought was a little bit odd because they're two different sizes so one will tighten this up here depending upon what length you want this to be at the bigger one it's a shame they're not the same size but hey no big deal uh, does up the bottom here should you need to undo that or do anything there so I haven't done the top up here so let's do it up now just at a random length okay so it's sort of half the length so half of the antenna is out here and half is in here so now when I wobble it there is a slight wobble factor I don't think you'll hear that from inside the car but just letting you know that there is a slight factor and that's the inside of that so I'm actually wondering whether um, if I undo this now, and of course it'd help if I got the right Allen key, I'll um, undo this. Just wondering whether I put a little bit of glue or something on that um, after I put it through, and then it might stop the end of it touching inside, and that might get rid of that little rattle. Not that it really bothers me, but hey, it, might as well so you adjust it to whatever length you want on the top here and what I'm going to do like the other antenna if you haven't seen my other video I suggest you do is get it to the right length and then actually put a mark there so when I'm out in the field I don't have to take a tape measure and put a mark for all the bands so it says in the instructions here uh, all the bands here and what length you want it should be for the top the top radial length here sorry here's what length that should be Looks like it's anywhere between 67 centimetres and 23 centimetres. So uh, we'll give that a test and, uh, and a go and see how that goes, eh? So one thing I have noticed is I've got the top here and I've made it as short as possible. This actually undoes here and instead of having a box this big, you could potentially just unscrew that and you could have a box roughly about that big rather than such a big box. So I'm going to look at either getting some pipe like the other one just to protect the coil um, so that it does travel better and smaller, which is great uh, when you're packing for going away or something but not having it on the car. Saves a bit of space and if you're storing it, well, why not keep it smaller? Okay, so remember we had a rattle inside and that's where this metal is rattling inside the antenna. So basically it's rattling inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can fix that. So the longest antenna length is 67 centimetres. 
So let's measure the 67 centimetres, which comes down to here, 67 centimetres. And then there's just a little bit under here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some tape on that and that might stop the banging. Let's give that a go. Okay, so I put a little bit of electrician's tape on there. I've actually cut it so uh, it doesn't rat it doesn't rattle. And look, I can put that to the end there and it's still 67 centimeters long, which is the maximum on the sheet here. So if it was inside, I'll carefully put that inside now and I'll just half do it up. And look, no rattle. The rattle has gone, how good's that? So we fixed that. Not that it was really broken, but um, hey, that's just something that uh, it doesn't do anymore, rattle. I don't think you'd hear it in the car but anyway, but anyway, it's nice to have it perfect. So there we go. Let's go on and see what else we can try on this. Okay, so we're gonna set up the antenna for, let's go uh, 28 megahertz. So that's 38.5 centimetres. And that is from that point to that point, which on the antenna is this point here to the end. So we want 38 centimetres. So let's see, 38 is about there. Let's get it spot on and we'll see how we go. I'll tighten that up. In the bag here, there are two Allen keys and we'll go for the smallest one. And that should do this up here. Do it up nice and tight because we don't want it to move in the wind or anything. There we go, that's not going anywhere. And we'll just double check that it didn't move. 38, beautiful. Right, let's test it. Uh, also in the bag was this little gasket. And you can see in the gasket, it's um, got an indent on this side and it's fairly flat on that side. So the indent goes around the top like that. And it just keeps the water out of the connector there when we screw it into the base. Okay, so I've already got this base. It's a magnetic base and it's a heavy duty magnetic base. You would have seen it in one of my other videos, but if you haven't, I suggest you watch it. So I'm just gonna take the cover off. And this one was, I used this in my other video with the other HF antenna. So I'm gonna try it with this one now. So it's got the same plug and it's made to work on this one as well. So all I do is just screw it in. And that can go on the car now. Simple as that. All right, so there we go. We have the antenna on the car here. Just one problem, it's actually raining. So um, <laughs> it's not good for the operator. <laughs> so I'm going to put the radio just in the garage, just behind me, just out of uh, the rain. But that's where it is there on the car. All right, so I've got the radio here on 28.48. And I've got on um, AM as well, and I've turned the power right down because I don't want to make any problems here just in case the antenna doesn't work. So I've got it down to one. Now over here, I've got my SWR meter. And this one I've had for, I don't know, probably 30 years. So I've had, it still works. So let's give it a go. So what I'm going to do is uh, key up and I'll set that there and then return and there we go we got an SWR of about 1.7 I would suggest let's just uh, do that again oh there we go a bit closer 1.6 so that's pretty good I'm happy with that so this radio also you can display the SWR on the screen and you can see that it's 1.5 so that's pretty accurate considering it's an old meter and this is a new radio. So there we go, 1.5, 1.6 uh, on that band. That's pretty good. Okay, as you can see, I've just changed it to 27 megahertz. So I'm gonna check the SWR again over here. I haven't changed the antenna at all, haven't touched it. So let's just check that. Oh, it's just below 1.5, that's pretty good. And if you have a look on the radio here, SWR is 1.1. So I haven't even changed the antenna. 
but when you look at the instructions, I was supposed to for 27 megahertz, I was supposed to change it to 47 centimeters, 47.2. So it's not a great deal of difference, but shows that it still works. Okay, so we've still got the antenna set for 28 megahertz at 38 centimeters. I've now changed the radio to 26 megahertz, so it should be 57 centimeters. I haven't changed it, so it's quite a bit different. Let's just see what it does when I key it up. 3.1. So let's see if we can improve that, shall we, by adjusting the length of the antenna. Okay, so we're gonna adjust it to 57.2. So there's 57.2 there now, and I'll tighten that off. All right, so there's the antenna set to 57.2 centimeters. Let's have a look and see what the SWR is now. Okay, so I'll just set, set it there, get reverse. Oh, there we go. Look, it's quite low there. Let's look at what the radio is doing. 1.1, the radio is saying on 26 megahertz. So changing the antenna just that little bit certainly made a difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark the antenna. So when I'm out in the field, I don't have to measure it because I know that that is perfect for 26 megahertz. Okay, so we're still set at 26 megahertz, which is 57 centimeters. I'm going to try 25 megahertz now, uh, which should be 67. So the whole 10 centimeters in the in there. Let's just see on the meter what it does. So I'll set that to set there, and you can see it's quite high. Let's look at the radio. You can see it's 2.7. So let's adjust the antenna, shall we? All right, so I loosen that off. And I'll extend this to there. 67 centimeters is there. And now I'll tighten it up. Okay, we'll put that on the car and we'll give that a go. Okay, so we've got the length at exactly 67 centimeters. Let's test it on the meter here. So, set that to set and then get the reverse and there we go it's down below 1.5 we come over to the radio here it's 1.9 on 25.4 megahertz that's pretty good i'm happy with that now the radio goes to 21 megahertz but you can see 21 megahertz isn't listed here so let's see what happens with the radio so if i press ptt we're going on very low wattage look it says high swr let's have a look at the meter down here and see what that does. So I'm gonna press it now. You can see it transmits and then it cuts out. So that's really good. The radio actually cuts out because the SWR is too high. It stops transmitting. It's a great feature to have. Okay, so we have changed the antenna to 30 centimeters for 29 megahertz. Let's have a look at what the SWR is now. 1.1. Happy with that. We'll just double check that on the meter over here. Set it to set. There we go, yep, about 1.1. So this is the antenna that you can put on the front of your bull bar using a bull bar mount like that. Uh, that works really well on uh, my four wheel drive that I take around the country. Here's the instruction sheet. It's only two pages, which just shows how easy it is to use. You can purchase this antenna from the Radio Diddy site and it only took a few days to arrive but here's a link that'll give you a discount if you're planning on purchasing anything from that site. You can use that link to buy the magnetic base too that I showed in this video. Just type in the link and then in the search box just search for what you're looking for and you should get that discount. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please like and subscribe if you did and uh, make sure you look at some of the other videos that I've got that show other options of HF antennas. 73 is from me. I look forward to talking to you soon.